Let's look at a free play tonight in this MLB Game 4 divisional round Yankees-Royals. Boy, the TV networks are cringing to say the least because the Yankees need to win one of these next two games. Otherwise, we're going to have either Cleveland, Detroit, or Kansas City in the World Series. Of course, they'd love to see the Dodgers finish off the Padres. We'd have Mets-Dodgers. Uh, they would love either one of them. But I do think the Yankees, more likely than not, finish off this series tonight on Thursday. And with veteran Garrett Cole on the mound, they've got a pretty good chance to do so. This is a Game 1 rematch from just five days ago when Garrett Cole took on Michael Waka Waka. And it was a high-scoring game because both pitchers struggled Cole gave up uh, three earned, four runs in five innings. Waka, even worse, went just four innings and gave up three runs, and that earned as well. Um, I do look for both pitchers to pitch better tonight. I think the under could be worth a look here, under seven and a half. There are some eights floating around. And the reason I say that is because the Yankees' offense, uh, despite winning last night three to two, has been fairly cold. They put up only four runs in that game last night, and I'm sorry, four hits and scored three runs. But they did leave 11 guys on base. In fact, They've left 11 runners on base in two of the first uh, two of the last three games in this series so far, and I do think they could maybe break out a little bit more. So I'd like the Yankees here minus a dollar forty-five, dollar fifty to finish off the series, but I would also hedge it a little bit with the under seven and a half, under eight, just in case that offense doesn't heat up. Aaron Judge, I don't believe, has a hit in this series yet. Two ways to look at that: he's cold, or he's due to break out as well. Um, yes, Kansas City's up against it, back against the wall. Not sure, though, that's a good thing for an inexperienced young team here. Is really just happy to be in the postseason. Look for the Yankees to close this series out tonight on Thursday. And also, I would lean under 7.5 as well. I want to ask you this. Uh, I mean, my, my basic question for the Yankees is, is the price right? You know, it's not like you're getting a bargain back in Cole and the, and the Bronx Bombers uh, in KC today. You're laying a buck fifty. Uh, in that contest, we're seeing a little bit of money come for KC as we speak right now. If you're looking at the wager talk free live odd screen down to 145 at some of the leading indicator books. So we are seeing a little bit of Kansas City money. But my question is not whether the Yankees are the, uh, the better of the two teams they are. But in a matchup where Cole got hit the first time, KC's bullpen's every bit as good as the Yankees is. Uh, and Aaron Judge isn't hitting. I just wonder if this price is right. Isn't this a bit of a premium that you're laying with the Yankees tonight, or do you think the value is still there? It's a little bit of a price, but, you know, the other ways you could play this, Teddy, of course, is the run line. You're getting plus money, minus one and a half. My concern there, though, as I mentioned, is that the offense hasn't been explosive. Um, another option you could do is to make a minus one run line. A lot of books have that now, but as the late, great Dave, Dave Koken used to point out, you can make your own minus one run line by putting half your play on the money line, half your play on the minus one and a half. And at minus 150 plus 110, that would make it minus one, minus 120. So that's all, another option here um, to get that price down a little bit and uh, also make sure that that half run doesn't beat you with the minus one and a half. So minus one, minus 120 run line is also a way to approach this. And the thing about baseball, which is different than football, is that, you know, if they win, the price doesn't matter. Now, long term, it obviously does, and I'm very conscious of it. And that's one of the reasons I've done so well in baseball over the years is that I don't lay inflated prices. But I do think the Yankees win this game tonight. You might be paying a premium, uh, but when they get that W, it's not going to end up mattering. So it's a great time of the year to be an all-sports client at wagertalk.com. This is the only time of the year over the next couple of weeks where you can get every sport going at once. Baseball, football, and basketball. Because basketball, the NBA starts in two weeks. I'm number one not only the last three years combined, but in the history of Wager Talk and Units 1 in the NBA. College Hoops was number one a couple years ago. That's right around the corner. And, of course, the last two seasons entering this year, I was number one in college and pro football, ATS Units 1, and got off to a number one start a couple weeks ago. I think we're number two right now, and that's because we lost two games on Sunday on the final play. Otherwise, we would have had a 6-0 and sweep last weekend. Baseball regular season finished on a 31-13 and 14, a 31 and 13 run, and uh, we're started off right here at MLB postseason as well. Great time to be an All Sports All Access member. And right now, when you buy a 30 day package, you can add a second 30 day package for just $99. There is no promo code needed. Check that out right now on my page, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. And while you're there, check out the daily free plays, the best bets as well. And you can figure out other packages that might work for you. But once again, that buy 30, get another 30 for $99 is a great offer because it's All Sports All Access. And this is the only time that you can get football, baseball, and basketball. All at one time. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with that promo code or that shortcut code, rather, wt.buzz slash sm. And just a reminder, I read the comments. I reply back. I love the support here on Wager Talk TV. Let's keep it going this weekend. Thumbs up, like, hit subscribe, and hit that bell for instant alerts 
So you'll know when my college football top 25 video and NFL fade the public videos are ready this weekend as well.